Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, the most disturbing book I've ever read. Notice is back in a new edition and I have two copies to give away. So in the summer of 2022, I read and made a video about this book, Notice by Heather Lewis, um, and called it the most disturbing book I've ever read. If you're watching this video now, there's a reasonable chance that you'll subscribe to my channel because of that video. So that is by far the most successful video I've ever made, and I've got a ton of new subscribers off the back of that video. Um, and loads of people um, in the comments on that video recommended other disturbing books that they thought I should read. Um, I've read many of those books since then, and this is still the most disturbing book I've ever read. So I, I first heard about this through a collaboration video that uh, Juan from the channel Play by Visions did, where he got a bunch of different YouTubers, including me, to come on and, and talk about the most disturbing book they'd read. So this was the um, this was the, the pick of a YouTuber called Black Acre Doe. Um, I'd never heard of the book before, but his description of it made me really intrigued to read it. Um, a few months later, Alex from the channel The Bookubus read it um, and reminded me of it, and that made me seek out a copy. Um, and that led to, to me reading it uh, and that review video. When I read Notice, it was out of print. When I made that video, it was out of print. Um, and loads of people in the comments on that video were saying, how can I get a copy of it? Um, so I, I kind of thought about that. There seemed to be like a, a, a swell of people who really wanted to read the book based on my video. And, it, and indeed, there was a real world effect of that in that prices, secondhand copies of this, the prices of them on, on eBay started going through the roof. I think at one point it was going for like a few hundred dollars, which is ridiculous. Um, so I contacted the publisher. I, I wrote to Serpent's Press, uh, Serpent's Tale, the publisher, and said, you know, I've made this. I've, re I've read this book that you published before. I thought it was excellent. Um, I've made a video about it. Loads of people are, you know, seem to be wanting to read it. I think you should consider. Um, I think you should consider publishing a new edition. And I had a bit of a back and forth over email. And, and after a while, they they had looked at it. They you know reconsidered it. Um, and decided that yes, they would publish a new edition. So sincere thanks from me to everyone who commented on that video, who watched that video, because it's that that you know that kind of clear public you know, desire for the book uh, to be back in print, which has caused Serpent's Tale uh, to issue this, the new edition of Notice, which came out this week. Um, I have to say, I wasn't too sure about the 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 cover of it when I saw the like initial cover image, but actually I think it works really, really well. Um, it's it's stark and effective and uh, kind of accurately captures um, a lot of what the book is about. So I'll talk a bit about what the book is about in a minute, but I also think just the design of it is excellent. The use of like the typeface and things like that, black and, and the, the kind of three color, um, black and white and pink um, kind of, style of it I think is very very effective um, so yes this is the new copy of Notice out this week um, so I have two copies of it to give away so Serpent's Tale have sent me three copies um, I'm going to keep one of them because I think it's pretty cool that this book um, is, is back in print partly because of my video um, so I have two copies to give away um, I'm going to do one for viewers in the UK one for viewers internationally. Um, so I'll tell you at the end of the video what you need to do um, in order to, to get one of these. But let me just first tell you quickly what the book is about. Um, so the book is about a young woman who um, is working as a sex worker, um, who gets picked up by this guy who takes him back uh, to, his, to his home uh, to, and to his wife. And she is effectively imprisoned in their house for, for a period of time and in, in, like encouraged to get involved in increasingly kind of risky sadomasochistic activity with them. Um, it's a really, really bleak and disturbing book. And what makes it so bleak and disturbing is the central character's inability to break away from the kind of patterns of behaviour that she knows are self-destructive. Um, it's I, I, I've never read a book that so captures that sense of of 
just just inability to to not keep doing the things that you are doing even though you know that they are bad for you and i think so many of us can recognize that in our own lives and it may you know maybe all sorts of different things it might be diet or like addiction to social media or you know whatever we know that there are things we do that are not good things but it's very very difficult to break those habits and this is like an extreme example of that um so this was Heather Lewis's third book so her first book House Rules which I which I haven't read yet I do have a copy of um is kind of semi-autobiographical and about her experiences on the show jumping circuit and and uh, as her experience of, of being abused as a child um her second book uh, The Second Suspect um or her second published book anyway um is effectively a retelling of the story of notice but framed as a mystery novel um, so it takes that kind of central concept but has a detective investigating the events of notice and, and the reason that she wrote that version um, is because nobody would publish notice um, it was I think just considered to be too bleak and, and too disturbing for you know for, for mainstream publishers to pick up Heather Lewis very sadly committed suicide so so she died at the age of 40 and it was only after her death that that notice was was published um and i really do think it's a fantastic work of fiction so i'm i'm delighted that it's back in print again i think it really does deserve to be read um and we should all remember you know heather lewis as, as a great writer who died very very much too young so that's the book that's what it's about how do, how do you get a copy then so so you can go out and buy a copy clearly our copies are available um, and I will leave a link in the description to this video to my bookstore. Uh, book, bookstore, if you don't know, is, is a, a site that supports um, like independent bookshops. So I'll leave a link to where you can buy this. And it will, if you buy it, it will come from a, an independent bookshop that is local to you. Um, so you can buy it, but you can also, as I said at the start, win a copy. So in order to win a copy, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel leave a comment on this video. In that comment, tell me if you are UK or international, so UK or outside the UK, and tell me the most disturbing book you've read. That's all you have to do, and in a couple of weeks' time, um, so this video is going up on Sunday the 10th, I think, yeah, Sunday the 10th of March. So at the end of March, um, I will do a, a draw of all of those comments uh, and pick the two winners and do a video announcing that. So that's all you have to do, nice and easy. So I hope that will make sense. As I said, just leave a comment telling me the most disturbing book you've read uh, and if you're in the UK or internationally, if you'd like to win one of the two copies. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.